Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, December 16th. Yesterday I ventured into the topic of pricing pots, and those were, you know, basic table stock pots. Um, but often that's what, you know, beginning and intermediate potters are starting with, uh, whatever their emotional involvement is. Uh, obviously, if you're working in specialty fields and so forth, that whole small to large doesn't necessarily work at, as a pricing scheme. Um, if you're making dollhouse furniture or, or pottery, etc., you, you need your whole, your, your own whole system. For larger things, or for more complicated things, or for more emotional things, um, there's a principle that I wrote about called um, price and the second highest bidder. So imagining there's an auction. So, so for instance, I've got this cup, mug. Okay, by size, this would just be a plain old $25 item, table stock. But it's wood fired and salt glazed and fabulous and you know, all the things are adding up to it and I've been using it for a while so I'm sort of emotionally attached. So if I were gonna be selling this, I need to price it at such a point that when it sells, if it sells, and I'm holding the cash, I'm happy with that. You know, I may miss the pot, but I enjoy the cash. So for instance, if I price it at $100, that implies that if you offer me 99, I would rather have the mug. I mean, it's that simple. Um, it gets a little more complicated when you get into really oddball things. Okay, so this is wood fire salt. Uh, it's, I'd say it's a sculpture, but it's also rigged, you know, to be a flower vase for really tall arrangements. Um, unusual piece for me, although it's part of the, you know, sort of fire trap series and so forth. If I'm ever going to sell it, I'm just picking a number, you know, but there's no science to that number. It's, it's emotional. Again, it's back to that you're holding the cash in your hand after the sale. And if you guess wrong, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Really, it doesn't do any good to lash out. You know, if you're holding the cash and you're still unhappy, you picked the wrong number. You didn't bid high enough on your own work. Have a good day.